there was a project called down at the the oh, Dunbar right. Hotel, mm-hmm. and nobody wanted the project. It was about the it was about this black owned hotel that had fallen into disrepair. It was the cat's meow in the fifties, in late forties and early fifties, but it was basically a bombed out hotel on Central Avenue. And um, three producers said, I'm "Not doing that show." And so um, they asked me if I wanted to do it, and I looked at, at the history of the hotel, and everybody in the world performed and and or lived at that hotel. Because in the '40s, black performers could go could perform anywhere, but they couldn't stay anywhere. Mm-hmm. So the Dunbar Hotel, black owned by first black owned hotel west of the Missis, uh, west of the Rockies, uh, owned by um, a dentist from USC. Um, everybody was there. On a Saturday night, Duke Ellington would be there. Ella Fitzgerald, Red Fox. Everybody who was anybody stayed or performed at the Dunbar. And what happened was at 2 in the morning, when all the other um, shows were out and all the white performers were finished, well, hell, they wanted to have fun. They went to the Dunbar. So that, you know, they'd be at the Dunbar. To, Red Fox said he was running the kitchen at the Dunbar, and they would still be having, you know, snacks at, at 12 o'clock Sunday. So we did this documentary. We, we found a guy who had um, a, a whole library of something called talkies, uh, soundies, soundies. Soundies were basically music videos, but shot on film, and they were in film jukeboxes. He owned all the library to all the black performers. Wow. So we made a deal with him. So we used all the great performances in the show, we got John Hendricks, who is a jazz performer singer, to host the show, and he did the whole show. All his narration was in rhyme, rap, if you will. And um, so we wanted to, once again, to show the heart of the project. We wanted to find someone who had actually dated at the Dunbar. And at the time, uh, there was uh, a really wonderful young PA. Her name was Erica Gerard, who is now Erica DeBona, um, who, before the internet, before any kind of research that was, you know, easily find outable, within two days she found a couple, Frank and Tilly, who had met at the Dunbar on a Friday night in the lounge and married two days later Hmm. in the dining room. And 53 years later, they were still married. So we interviewed them, and that became part of the show. And then there was a party at Eula McClaney's house on Sunset and um, Beverly Glen. A very wealthy African-American woman made her money selling sweet potato pies (laughs) and then bought a whole bunch of nursing homes in Los Angeles. And I interviewed a 103-year-old woman and a 109-year-old man who was at Lincoln's inauguration. Oh, Lord. So all this came together in this little half-hour show. Wow. And we won a Peabody. 